score and I'ma make it rain. rain. Second dude to score 100 points in the game. game. Some call it jump shot, I call it fire star. The ball threw me a oop, they thought I was Vince Carter. Man, I'm riding around in that new thing that I got off John Wall. You know that Marcy Alago. You know, last time he bet me to get a quadruple double, I pulled it out. So, you know, I got me a brand new car. But it's something else that John Wall asked me to do. He told me to get over 100 points in a playoff game. I told him, well, what's on the line? What am I going to get out of this deal? He told me I'd get a Kawasaki ZX-14. He knows how much of a bike fan I am. So, you know, I had to take the deal. So, I'm going to the game. I got 100 points on my mind. If I can pull this out, I can get me a new bike. Free of charge. So, let's get into the game, folks. Hit me on the short ball and I'ma make it rain. rain. Second dude can score 100 points in the game. game. Some call it jump shot. shot. I call it fire starter. The ball threw me a oop. They thought I was Vince Carter. Put me on the court and I'ma make it rain. rain. Second dude can score 100 points in the game. game. Some call it jump shot. I call it fire starter. The ball threw me a oop. They thought I was Vince Carter. Here, what's going on everybody, it's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Welcome to Game 3 of the NBA Playoffs and the Semifinals for me. You know I'm going up against New York and Carmelo. But, let's jump into it man, first play of the game for me. You see I'm out on a fast break, I'm not wasting any time, I gotta get 100 points, come on. Why would I waste any time getting what I need to get? Now you see me out, you're gonna see me out on the break a lot this game. Just cause of the simple fact that I'm gonna be pulling out all types of different moves. I know a lot of people are gonna have questions for me in the comment section saying, how did you do this move? How did you do that move? What I'm gonna try to do is, I'm gonna try to pull out a Euro step. I'm gonna try to pull out a hop step layup like you just saw. Dunking on people like you just saw. I'm gonna try spin layups. I'm gonna get alley-oops, you know. I'm gonna try to do it all, man. Half court offense. I'm gonna try to do it on a fast break. I'm going to just try to show you all different types of facade of my gameplay so you can get a general idea of what I do to win games and you know how to blow a, a team on, a, on Hall of Fame. It's that simple. But you see me pulling up. My jump shot cash, man. So you, let me show you one more time. Hold up. Cash. Like, <laughs> you know, I, I get them sometimes. Um, it's like with me, my three-point rating is not on 99. But I've been using this jump shot for a long time. You know, I made the jump shot. Um, if you want to know what the jump shot is, it's in the description. But I've been using it for a while now, and it seems like I know all about it. But let's let's stop the con for a second. Let's see this replay. Check me out going up. I don't even think I looked at the ball. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? I was looking at my teammates saying thank you. <laughs> but check me out on a fast break. Coming around all my teammates for the Kobe Bryant effect. It looked like a little Kobe Bryant dunk right there, but see me cut into the basket. I'm telling you guys, man, that little loop that you do, that gets you an easy alley-oop every single time. The computer doesn't know what to do. <laughs> but you see me trying to get a little bit of isolation going. You know, B. Diddy has to stick me because Melo can't hold me. But we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> now, you see me out on the break. You see the alley-oop. Listen, do the loop, guys. You see that, like, when I curve and then I cut back to the basket? You got to do that if you want to get these alley-oops. And look at B. Diddy. What's up with you? <laughs> but you see me getting in the post with a nice up and under and one. I'm going to the line for one. You know, a little bit nice continuation. We up 21 right now. Shepard looking pissed. Uh, it's like New York does not know what to do this game. It's like they've never really seen me, you know, try to put on a whole score in front. Usually, the reason that the games are so close when I'm playing on Hall of Fame is because the CPU is cheesing. They're coming back. And also, I'm playing a lot of half-court offense. And when you're playing half-court offense, the, the game is slowed down. Sometimes I'm looking for assists. Sometimes it don't work out that well. Sometimes I'm not really generally looking for the shot. And... New York just goes out on a break, gets crazy comebacks, and stupid stuff like that happens all the time. But you see me with the nice little alley-oop layup. Melo, he don't know what to do. Just look at Melo. He putting his hands up like, oh, man, I didn't even see that. <laughs> but check out the still. Balkman, what's up with you, man? You good? Are, are you good? <laughs> I don't know, man. But let's jump into halftime, show you guys a little bit of stats and what's going on with both teams. Top of the Sunday on that <laughs> And welcome everyone to HP at the half. Second round action is in full swing. Let's break it down. The Wizards have been tearing it up. 
They're trying to string together their third win in a row in this series. One look at their shooting percentage from the floor, and it's easy to see why the first half broke the way it did. Not the same story, though, for the Knicks. The way they're racking up fouls, hard to watch. They got to play smarter. Tony Douglas still looking to get going. Not many positives for him so far. Just one bucket from the floor. A bit of a lopsided affair through the first half, but these two have been supplying the highlights. That'll do it as the second half is about to start out in New York. Oh, man, it was crazy that they say B. Diddy was supplying the highlights. But check me going on for the layup. I'm liking the way, you know, Carmelo is getting a lot of no calls on defense. He's playing great D, but you see me pulling up for three. It's cash. The the net, you heard it a mile away. <laughs> but you see me, this little crossover that I got, crossover seven, you guys definitely want to utilize it. I'm telling you, you can't lose with crossover seven, man. Real talk. But check me elevating. When I go to the rim, I'm not worried about any defender. Um, it seems like I don't get bumped as much as I used to. Um, I got my off hand. Oh, my. Hold up. Wait, wait. i tell y'all about that later. Did y'all see that slam cam? I, oh, my goodness. <laughs> but, yeah, guys. Um, I got my off hand dribbling up. I got my ball security up. I got my strength up. I got uh, my offensive awareness up. I also got my shot in traffic up. And what else is it? I, it's one more thing that enables you not to get bumped as much. Um, hold up. I, I missed that alley. Don't worry about that. It's one more attribute that I can't think of, but I will probably leave it in the description if I can remember it. But currently, look at how many times it takes me to score the ball. I have to score with an acrobatic layup. I had a chance to dunk on somebody, but they'd rather let me score on an acrobatic layup. That's crazy. But check me going out in for the layup. Now, you guys saw how I cut to the basket. That's the way you want to cut every time you want to alley-oop. It's like the defenders can't jump straight up and smack the ball out of midair. But this is the last play before we get into the fourth quarter, y'all. Now let's check in with Doris Burke for our Sprite Spark of the Game. Doris. And Kevin, for the Wizards, the game Sprite Spark has been supplied by their swingman. He's been the go-to guy on the offensive end with his ability to finish plays and put up points. We'll see if that continues here in the fourth. All right, as I came off the bench to start the fourth quarter, I just knew I had to dunk on somebody. And I'm sorry, Chandler. I'm sorry it had to be you. But next time, don't don't flop on the ground like a, like a little girl, dog. Next time, be a man about it. <laughs> but check out this alley-oop, man. I'm telling you guys, that move right there is essential. When you cut out to the three-point line and then come around and cut back to the basket, the computer doesn't know what's going on, really. But as I'm getting closer to 100 points, you know what I'm telling John Wall every time we come down court. Get that Kawasaki ready. I'm ready to get out on the road. You see me with the shake and bake layup. That's a Jamal Crawford package if anybody is asking. You definitely want to pick that up. Now, you see me going in for layups, man. I'm not getting bumped. And even though I'm not getting any no calls, it's cool. You know, I shoot my fair fair shots, uh, foul line shots, just like right here. That crossover seven to the rack, you know, ball control. I'm telling you guys, it works, man. If, if you really want to get better at playing my player, do not rage quit your my players, guys. When you make a my player, stick with that my player. Play the games. Don't just key game it, you know. And be like a 70 overall by the end of one season. I'm telling you guys, my, my one of my my players was a 96. <clears throat> Sorry about that. A 96 before the end of the season. I'm telling you guys, you got to play this game. You can't just think that you're going to pick up the sticks. You're a noob at it. You're a rookie at it. And you're just going to be good as soon as you put the disc in. I'm telling you guys, once I started playing 2K when it first came out, I was ass. But over the years, I start saying, you know, the same different things. And now I'm kind of good at the game. So I'm telling you guys, if you want to be great at the game, please keep playing. But I just want to thank you guys for watching. The fourth quarter is almost over. And you already know, man. Listen to this stat sheet stuffer. This one's over. Use the clock and take care of the arm. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. Not much to be critical of with this win, Clark. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, Doris Burke, Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. 
to the NBA Eastern Conference semifinals. Hit me on the court, and I'ma make a brain. Second, you can score 100 points in the game. Some call it jump shot. I call it fire starter. The ball threw me a oop. They thought I was Vince Carter. Put me on the court. Then I'ma make it rain, rain. Second through the score, 100 points in the game. game. Some call it jump shot, I call it fire starter. Ball through me a oop, they thought I was Vince Carter. Yo, I go and get it if you throw the alley oop. Leave me wide open, I won't hesitate to shoot. They call me stat stuffer, I put points on the scoreboard. So much swag, my Lamborghini need four doors. Give me the ball and I perform like Mike. The greatest of all time, I get all that hype. I'm skipping the Kobe Bryant, I'm skipping LeBron James. Give me the ball, yo, I'm creative in all lanes. And when you get the ball, I take cookies I got vets looking like they mini camp rookies I bank it off glass, I run the break fast I penetrate pass, my jump shot cash So the D, they better get their hand up I got the coach screaming, telling y'all man up And put a double team on 87 Carter The rookie of the year that's taking the Wizards farther Make it rain, rain. Second, you can score 100 points in the game. game. Some call it jump shot. I call it fire starter. The ball threw me a oop. They thought I was Vince Carter. Put me on the court, and I'ma make it rain. rain. Second, you can score 100 points in the game. game. Some call it jump shot. I call it fire starter. The ball threw me a oop. They thought I was Vince Carter. Carter. Well, congratulations on breaking the NBA record for points scored in a game. That's a pretty incredible feat. You have now surpassed some of the legends in the history of this league. How does it feel to be in their company? Well, thank you so much, first of all. I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. It's hard to describe. It was just one of those days where my shots were hitting. I felt invincible out there. <laughs>